Carbon monoxide poisoning is a significant public health concern and is the leading cause of fatal poisoning in developed nations. It is primarily caused by the incomplete combustion of carbon-containing materials, which can occur in various settings, including residential fires, malfunctioning heating systems, and the use of gasoline-powered equipment indoors. Healthcare providers must recognize the signs and symptoms of carbon monoxide exposure to initiate timely treatment. Principles of Toxicity Carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin more effectively than oxygen, forming carboxyhemoglobin. This binding reduces the blood's oxygen-carrying capacity, leading to tissue hypoxia. The clinical presentation can range from mild symptoms such as headache and dizziness to severe manifestations like loss of consciousness and cardiovascular collapse. It is essential to consider carbon monoxide poisoning in patients presenting with these symptoms especially in groups with similar complaints or after exposure to potential sources. Diagnostic Testing Diagnosis begins with a thorough medical history and physical examination. Carbon monoxide oximetry is the preferred method for confirming carbon monoxide exposure by measuring carboxyhemoglobin levels. Standard blood gas analyses may not be sufficient, as they can miss carbon monoxide poisoning due to normal oxygen levels in the blood despite significant carboxyhemoglobin presence. Healthcare providers should be aware that pulse oximeters often misinterpret carboxyhemoglobin as oxyhemoglobin. Clinical features Patients with mild carbon monoxide poisoning may experience headaches, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, and confusion. Severe cases can lead to altered mental status, seizures, hypotension, and cardiac arrest. Notably, the classic cherry red skin coloration associated with carbon monoxide poisoning is a post-mortem finding and is rarely observed in living patients. Delayed neurologic sequelae Delayed neurologic complications are common after carbon monoxide exposure, occurring in approximately 12 to 50% of patients. These complications can manifest days to weeks after exposure and may include cognitive deficits, seizures, and psychiatric symptoms. Risk factors for delayed sequelae include extremes of age and loss of consciousness during exposure. Differential diagnosis. Mild to moderate carbon monoxide poisoning can mimic other conditions, leading to misdiagnosis. It is crucial for healthcare providers to maintain a high index of suspicion when evaluating patients with nonspecific symptoms who have potential exposure histories. Management The primary treatment for carbon monoxide poisoning is oxygen therapy. Administering 100% oxygen significantly reduces carboxyhemoglobin levels and accelerates recovery. Hyperbaric oxygen, HBO, Therapy can further decrease these levels, but is typically reserved for severe cases with high carboxyhemoglobin concentrations or neurological symptoms. The half-life of carboxyhemoglobin can be reduced from approximately 5 hours on room air to 1 hour with supplemental oxygen and to about 30 minutes with hyperbaric therapy. Indications for HBO therapy Severe carbon monoxide poisoning HBO therapy is indicated for patients with severe carbon monoxide poisoning, particularly those with carboxyhemoglobin levels greater than 25 to 30 percent. This level indicates significant exposure and potential for serious complications. Patients exhibiting loss of consciousness or neurological impairment should also receive HBO therapy as part of their management. HBO therapy has been shown to reduce the incidence of these complications from approximately 12% to less than 1%. Therefore, it is advisable to consider HBO therapy for these patients to mitigate potential long-term neurological effects. Evidence of cardiac involvement. HBO therapy is warranted in cases where there is evidence of cardiac involvement, such as ECG changes or signs of myocardial ischemia. The therapy can improve oxygen delivery to the heart and mitigate further damage. Acidosis. Patients presenting with severe acidosis, particularly those with a blood pH lower than 7.1, should be considered for HBO therapy. 
This condition indicates a critical need for enhanced oxygenation and may signal a higher risk of complications. Pregnant patients. Pregnant women exposed to carbon monoxide, even at lower levels of carboxyhemoglobin, should receive HBO therapy. The fetus is at greater risk due to its higher affinity for carbon monoxide. HBO therapy for pregnant women with carbon monoxide poisoning may be considered if maternal carboxyhemoglobin levels exceed 10 to 20 percent, altered consciousness is present, or fetal distress occurs. Complications from cyanide poisoning. In cases where carbon monoxide poisoning is complicated by cyanide poisoning, often seen in smoke inhalation scenarios, HBO therapy is indicated. The combined effects of these toxins can significantly increase morbidity and mortality. Consultation and decision-making When considering HBO therapy, consultation with a medical toxicologist or a hyperbaric treatment specialist is advisable. This collaboration can provide guidance on the appropriateness of HBO therapy based on individual patient circumstances and clinical findings. Conclusion Carbon monoxide poisoning poses a serious risk that requires prompt recognition and treatment. HBO therapy is indicated for severe carbon monoxide poisoning, neurological impairment, cardiac involvement, severe acidosis, pregnant patients, and cases complicated by cyanide poisoning. Question number one. What is the primary mechanism of toxicity in carbon monoxide poisoning? The correct answer is C. Carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin more effectively than oxygen, forming carboxyhemoglobin which reduces the blood's oxygen-carrying capacity and leads to tissue hypoxia. Question number two. Which of the following is a classic clinical feature of carbon monoxide poisoning in living patients? The correct answer is B. While cherry red skin coloration is a post-mortem finding, headache and dizziness are common symptoms in living patients with carbon monoxide poisoning. Question number three. Which of the following is not indicated for hyperbaric oxygen therapy? The correct answer is C. Untreated pneumothorax is an absolute contraindication for hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.